So the question is, which one I should install? iOS 26 public beta or iOS 26 developer beta. When you navigate inside the settings, general software update and under the automatic updates, you will have an option after this page refreshes. Within a few seconds, you will see the beta updates option. And when you navigate inside, now you have iOS 26 public beta and iOS 26 developer beta option. Previously, it was only iOS 26 developer beta and other iOS 18 public beta and developer beta options you normally see if you are using iOS 18 version. Right now, my iPhone installed with iOS 26 developer beta. Day before yesterday, Apple released iOS 26 public beta and some people raised this question like which one is good for my iPhone or iPad or which is the correct one to install. My suggestion is iOS 26 developer beta is one step ahead of iOS 26 public beta version. Whatever the bugs fixed and felt a little bit stable compared to the developer beta that has some bugs that cannot be fixed immediately is released as public beta by Apple. So whenever you try to install the iOS 26 public beta, you should know that it offers a little more stability and overall, you know, bug fixes received that is considered to be stable and not causing much issue with your iPhone regular performance. The apps support, banking app support and all other things are depending on the developers that they support with the latest iOS version. So it is always recommended to install the beta if your organizational or company applications and banking apps supports the latest iOS version. Otherwise, you need to roll back to a stable iOS release. In this case, iOS 18. So iOS 26 public beta is one step behind the developer beta is what you have to understand so if you are planning to get a somewhat you know stable version then go with the ios 26 public beta otherwise if you know that there are bugs and you have already took a backup of all your important photos videos and other apps data either using a local computer through itunes or apple devices app or you are using icloud or google photos app to back up all your important photos, videos and other data, the iCloud sync to sync your notes and Safari and any other apps related data, then you can take a risk by installing any of the beta software. It is a common thing for both public beta and developer beta that you need to have a backup. So within a week or a couple of weeks, if you're experiencing any issues, you will be able to roll back to the stable iOS 18 version, then you can get all the data back safely. I also have a detailed episode published on our channel, we'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first pinned comment. You can check that out if you want to downgrade iOS 26 developer beta or public beta to stable iOS 18.5 or iOS 18.6 update which is expected to arrive by next week. So both beta have bugs and it is simple that you have to decide based on whether you need the latest changes and features that made with the iOS 26 developer beta understanding the risks that if there are any bugs, you need to wait a couple more weeks to receive the next beta version that addresses the issue. Whichever iOS beta you use, try to use the feedback app so that you can report, you know, this app comes by default automatically installed when you install the beta version, either it is developer beta or public beta, so that you need to report the issues that you are experiencing with the iOS 26 developer beta or public beta so that Apple will be able to fix it in the upcoming beta versions for you and for all other users. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.